very, very nice pictures. <laughs> I love it when they are like uh, printed out. It reminds me on uh, times when I was young. Yeah, that's from Kitzbühel in 2019. The first title at home. Very, very nice moment. This, of course, uh, one of my favorite weeks back then, the, the Labour Cup. Such a big honor as well to be in the team with all those legends. Here, my second big passion, football picture. I'm gonna play way more soon. Domi, how does it feel sitting here talking about, I guess, the end of your professional tennis career? When I was young, all I wanted was to be a professional tennis player. Oh, what tennis this is, goodness me. And it will be a day he will remember for the rest of his life. <laughs> it's unreal. Very lucky to be able to realize basically all my dreams. It's a stunning victory for Dominic Team, victory that will rock tennis. Dominic Team has done it. Way more came with it than, than I never expected. Being able to beat one of the greatest of all time in a big final must be extra special. When I think back on, on my career, the main emotions are really big gratitude. Well played, Dominic. That was a really inspired performance at hit. Well, thank you for everything. If I go back to, to talk to my uh, 15 or 16 year old self, first of all, I would, I would tell him to enjoy every single day, every single week on tour, because it's uh, definitely one of the best professions you can have. My biggest goal was to uh, reach top 100. My family played uh, such a big role, because uh, first of all, I started to, to play because of them when I was uh, five or six years old because uh, they were almost only on the tennis court back then and of course they brought me with them. Uh, at one point I picked up a racket and starting to play and then uh, the support of them never ended. Team finally gets a game. You can hear how excited the crowd are when team wins a point. I remember my, my first finals uh, exactly 10 years ago, 2014, against David Coffin. David played, played a great match. He won in three sets. First of all, it was a really nice week. But on the other hand, also a lot to learn from because uh, kind of everything was prepared that there's a happy end to win my first title, but it was not like that. I lost, you know, so that was a big disappointment. But at the same time, a very important experience as well for everything that came later. Yeah. Amazing summer was, I think, 50% because of my hair. <laughs> After Wimbledon, a really nice uh, holiday with uh, three of my best friends, and uh, we, we came to that stupid idea to dye our hair blonde. I came back, everybody thought it's, it's a joke, and I went on to, to win two titles in a row. Also the only time in my career that I won back-to-back -back titles week after week, but it will always uh, be connected to the hair. Those two finals are, are also a great memory of my career. It was my first Grand Slam finals, so I didn't really know before what it means to play two weeks on, on such a high level and it was a new experience and I was not handling it, it the best way. That's also, I think, what I was learning from Rafa, that he was staying like two weeks on the, on the highest level. And I think I also didn't go on court with the right attitude. Um, I kind of was happy to, to be in that finals. And a year later, 2019, uh, was way different. I wanted to win that match and um, I was also convinced that I can win that match. I gave everything I had, so that was a great memory as well. It was one of the matches of the season so far. Dominic team gave this man plenty to ponder. Tell me about playing in the era of the Big Four. Tell me about the privilege and the opportunity of playing in an era like that on the biggest stages against players like that. 
Yeah, the, the, the privilege of, of playing in the same era, like the big three, like the big four was... I'm, I'm very happy about it and I'm really proud and happy that I was in the same era like them. The first time I really was focusing on them and, and, and seeing them was uh, in, in 2005 when I was just 11 years old. It was Federer against Nadal in the French Open semi-final. I really remember it very clearly. It was such a great match, developing slowly as a, as a player myself and then Facing them was also a bit surreal in, in the beginning. I remember my first match against one of them, against uh, Andy in, in Rotterdam. I couldn't put the ball in in the first three, four games because it was just like surreal to, to finally face them. All those great guys which were idols. Dominic team wins the very first Masters 1000 title of his career. He's the champion in Indian Wells, and it will be a day he will remember for the rest of his life. He's got the better of Roger Federer. It was really nice as well against Roger because he was kind of smiling and laughing at the ceremony. Um, almost felt like he's, he's happy for me that, <laughs> that I won that title, which was super nice. It was special because I also didn't kind of expect that my, my first Masters 1000 title, which was the, the biggest title by far uh, at that point, comes on hard court, comes in Indian Wells, because uh, still I always preferred the, the clay court. Ladies and gentlemen, playing at the NITO ATP Finals, the world's number five from Austria, Dominic Team. Reaching even the the ATP Finals was also a bit surreal because ITF Junior tournaments always remember uh, the first days being jet lagged and waking up super early there and there was still the, the matches of the O2 running there and it felt like so far away. In 2016 I, I qualified and the first yeah, three years I was not playing my best tennis there and 2019 um, I just came from winning in Vienna, the confidence was so high, ending up in the finals, same 2020, and uh, lost twice very, very close matches. After the finals in 2020 Australian Open, I was pretty empty for, for quite a while. It took me very long to recover from that, not really because I didn't get over the line, but because uh, those two weeks were the most intense of my career. Even though I was way closer than in the French Open finals, it, it was kind of similar because Novak won Australian Open uh, 10 times. I was very, very close to, to beat him. I was proud and, and, and happy, but of course at the end I, I didn't win the title. I was, uh, I was empty after that for, for some weeks, for even, in, even some months, I guess. US Open 2020 finals was uh, fitting very well with the circumstances. Definitely the weirdest Grand Slam tournament I've ever played in front of nobody. I think we, we both really felt the nerves of winning what would have been for both of us the, the first Grand Slam. I was on the, on the limits physically and, and also mentally. First man in 70 years to come back from two sets down to win a five-set match here at the U.S. Open. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the 2020 U.S. Open, Dominic Team. Somehow bringing it on the, on the finish line um, against Sasha, who is a very good friend and also a very important person in my career because we had so many important matches and, and of course as well this one. It's the biggest title of my career and it's very uh, special. There will never be a tournament like this again, so it was also a very unique one that I won. So I think it's a little bit of a mirror of my career, so it fits perfectly. You seem really at peace with this decision and just happily reflecting on your career. How do you feel about the decision that you had to make in the end? First of all, I'm, I'm really thankful and grateful for everything I achieved and it's way more than I ever expected. It's been a very intense and long and unbelievable journey. Dominic.
My legacy, I, I wish that many people are saying that um, I was a nice guy on tour, I was a humble guy on tour. For the players that we had great battles and amazing matches. That many kids started with, with tennis because of me. Danke, Tommy. Danke, Tommy. Danke, Tommy. Tommy, thanks so much for all the great memories. Danke, Tommy. 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 I would like to say to the game of tennis, thank you that uh, I love you. It's been such a pleasure and I wish you nothing but the best for the future. <laughs>